Dear uh, ISA friends, members, uh, sponsor firms, uh, a belated Happy New Year to you in 2023. I wanted to send this short message just to wrap up a little bit of what we did in 2022 and uh, also to talk a little bit about what's coming this year. Um, first of all, thank you to Colin Parry and Karen Zeeb, Ursula Bura in the CEO's office for ISA, who've once again done an outstanding job in the last 12 months of really taking the association forward. I think we're adding real and material and measurable value to the industry. And I'm very proud of what this is achieving under Colin's leadership. Uh, we had last year, as many of you will know, the first symposium since 2018. Uh, we held it in Madrid for the first time ever. Generally, as you'll all remember, it's held in Switzerland. Um, and I wanted to thank Six Group and Javier and Annie um, who hosted us in their beautiful building in the old stock exchange in central Madrid. It was a fantastic event. We had wonderful feedback on it. I think the content was very good. And we're very much looking forward to the event back at Wolfsburg this year in Switzerland in the week of May the 8th. We've got a, a very interesting and very full uh, agenda. And um, I think people will find it extremely stimulating. If you haven't signed up for that event, I would encourage you to do so because it is limited to the number of rooms that are available at Wolfsburg. So. Um, I wouldn't want people to be disappointed and not and find that they're not able to secure uh, a place at the symposium. We also held in 2022, reflecting the COVID situation, our first virtual events launching the working groups. And uh, we're going to carry on repeating that. It's a neat way to bring the community together without having to physically get everybody together. I think what we've learned through the COVID crisis is that there are different ways of delivering content and to create a sense of community. And although we love being together in person and, um, and, and all of the benefits that that brings, we can intersperse that with these virtual events. I'm sure those of you that have been watching will have noticed that the board has grown in size. Um, I think that reflects the growing importance and relevance of ISSA and the fact that more firms want to be part of what we're doing. Uh, we're really happy with the diversity of the board uh, both in types of member firms, um, the diversity of the board members themselves in terms of uh, international presence, male-female split, uh, and, all, and all the kind of things that will make a board stronger. Um, and we've also diversified and enlarged the membership below the board, which I think is, a, is also a very positive thing. And those of you that join us at the symposium, I think we'll see a different shape to the ISA membership um, reflecting the way the industry is moving um, and its embracing of new technologies. And I think that uh, is only a good thing for our organisation. Uh, we were very busy at Cybos in the autumn of last year. Uh, we held, held three ISA panels that, which were extremely well uh, attended. And uh, we had an opportunity to catch up with lots of members and potential members, thanks to Swift, who are very strong supporters of ISSA and, and always help us to, to be meaningful and, uh, and to be relevant at Cybos. Thanks to all of those that have worked on the working groups in the last year. I think the working groups are now becoming a real value add for the community in general, but also for the member firms who tend to use the working groups not only to add something into the industry, but also as a way of getting their younger and uh, ambitious talent exposed to other institutions and new ideas. Um, our DLT working group, I think I'm right in saying, has over 100 members on it. So it just shows the kind of diversity of thought that we get, but also the interest we get in attending them. And we'd encourage all of the member firms to, to utilize those working groups for those purposes. I'm looking forward very much to a successful 2023. Um, the macro environment that we're in um, following the events of last year is complex and I think that makes ISSA as a non-competitive uh, organisation which seeks to find ways to improve the industry at a more general level even more relevant than it was in the past. Uh, we've got new working groups coming up this year which you'll hear about at the symposium uh, really focused on how we, we transform the industry along a digital journey and how we think about some of the complexities around things like customer onboarding, uh, digital assets, cybersecurity, and some of those very, very current and uh, pressing themes that we all face every day. So with that, uh, again, I wish you all a very happy, healthy and peaceful 2023. And I look forward to seeing you, as many of you as I can, in Wolfsburg in May. Thank you very much.